Welcome, yoga for everybody. Let's shine ourselves up. Brighten you. So we're going to, we're going to start standing today. It's always good to get a bit of energy in the body. So you've been doing a little sitting today. Let's uh, stand. Let's bring the sides of the feet together. We're going to squeeze together and we're going to make ourselves long. So it's a real pressure, pressure cooker, but it's going to build up lots of, lots of vitality. Inhale, lift the arms up. Interlink the fingers, stretch up, lift the heels off the ground, squeeze the arms together, squeeze the legs together, hold your breath in. Hold. And then breathing out through the nostrils, letting go slowly, bringing the heels down, bringing the arms down slowly. It's like you that softening feeling when you're slow with that long out breath compared to that strong vital in and hold, lift the heels high, press off the toes, hold your breath. And breathing out softly through the nostrils, arms softly floating down, heels just float down to the ground. Yeah. One more for luck, inhale. Interlink the fingers, stretch up, lift the heels high, squeeze the legs together, squeeze the arms together, hold. Hold a little bit longer and breathing out through the nostrils, slowly, softly, returning to the earth, letting yourself sink into the earth, heels sinking into the earth, arms just floating down. Take feet apart, <coughs> lift the shoulders up, breathing in through the nostrils, out through the mouth. <sighs> and again, breathing in, lift the shoulders up high and out through the mouth. <sighs> Just really expanding a bit of space for your breath. In through the nostrils, out through the mouth. Let's get these shoulders going a little bit. Shoulder opener. So I put my left foot in front of my right. Knees are both kind of bent. Left hand on left hip, taking hold of the fingers lightly. So it's just, we're just holding them with the thumb there. And then we're gonna do these circles. So first of all, just take that arm right around, check that you've got the room for it. It's not gonna knock against anything. And then you're kind of taking the weight forwards and backwards. You don't lift the heels off the ground. You're just kind of bringing the weight forwards and backwards into the left foot, into the right foot. And with that, kind of creating a bit of momentum. So the body's doing the momentum, not the arm. The arm's just being swung. So you let the arm just be super floppy. And then usually the movement of the body really gets that going. And then we get the arm going backwards, again, using the momentum in the body to do that. So you can really let that right arm be very loose. And then we loosen that shoulder up. Swinging again, wow, it's really powering up. And then we're gonna go forwards with that arm. Again, big circles. Really let this open your chest as well. And let that swing a little bit. Just see how it feels. And then compare the sides. You can see it feels really like, wow, lots of movement. It feels energized, tingly. This feels a little bit heavy. So we're gonna even it up. Right foot in front of the left, knees bent, right hand on right hip, taking hold of the fingers lightly. And then we're gonna get a bit of movement in this arm. We're moving the arm, mostly with the body. The arm is moving and we're kind of getting it going, but then we really use the body to get momentum. And then we're gonna go backwards with that arm, really giving that some welly there, opening up our wings. Good, open up the wings, get them energized so we can fly. Swing that arm. Then we're gonna go forwards with this arm a few times, winding up the energy, releasing the tension. Yeah, and then let that just swing to a stop. Take the knees apart, a bit wider, wider as the shoulder, knees bent, and we'll loosen up. Now the arms are really heavy and swingy, and we're just going to loosen this way in a twisting action. Again, revitalizing. Bending into the knee, coming up onto the toe. Breathe easily. Let the arms swing heavily into the body. Breathe. 
feet there and slowly come to a stop. And we just take the backs of the hands on the lower back. Ah, oh, let it out through the mouth. Let some sound out. Ah, good. Ah, yeah. And get those knuckles either side of the lower spine now. Just getting that energy rising up. Good. And then take the fingers. Or take the hands first of all to the front of the hips. Stimulating that area. And then taking the fingers to the chest area. Waking up the heart, opening up the chest. This is great for opening up your breathing apparatus as well. Ah, uh, good. Okay. Yeah, give the arms a little shake out. Give the legs a little shake out. Let's get the legs a bit more lively. Put the hands to the hips if you feel comfortable like that. Otherwise, you can let the arms just hang. I kind of, I like this lift. This encourages in my chest and length here. That's why I like to hold the hips. And it gives me a sense of balance. And I bring the heel to the backside. Let's kick yourself on the backside. Motivating yourself. Waking up. Getting the blood moving around the legs. Activation. And lifting the knees high. Breathing the whole time to support that movement, that activity. Good. Let me go out to the sides. So hips waking up. And just testing the balance a little bit, getting the balance going. All about the balance ultimately, you know. Breathe, find that balance in your breath. And then we lift the knee up and out to the side. Up and out. Just feeling the movement, the body, the breath supporting that movement. I'm just finding things getting a bit warmed and woken up. Let's do one more each side. Good. And let's just release. Time for some release. Half breath. Just check your feet. Have a look at them. Connect with the ground. Lift the toes. Place them down. Still looking at the feet. Lift the heels. Place them down. So you feel that feet ground connection. Now we're going to breathe in, lift up high, and out through the mouth in one. <sighs> swing the arms, get that arm swing going. Inhale, look up, really bright and lively, and then <sighs> let out a strong <sighs> release. Enjoy that sound, that expression. Inhale. <sighs> yeah. Really feel that release, let everything out. You know, bring it into your mind so that you really give it to that out breath. Whatever you want to release from your body or your mind. Let's do one more actually. Always have one more. Breathing in. Letting go. And releasing. Take the hands in front and behind. Then waking up the hands. Energy in the hands. And also just drawing this circle, casting this circle around you. Energy energy. Come to the front of the mat, let's come into triangle pose. Trikonasana. Have a look again at the feet, place them parallel, hip width apart. Put the weight onto the left foot and we step back with the right. Right angles with the feet. Hips square. Inhale, lift the arms up high, lifting the chest and the ribs. Exhale, keeping that lift in the chest, but bring the arms down to shoulder height and keep the shoulders down, chest lifted. Inhale, open the palms wide. Exhale, reaching over to your left and down towards the left leg. Make contact, maybe pressing with the palm or the back of the hand and reaching up with the right. Quite like this way around actually with the hand pressing because then we have this kind of twist. You know, it kind of encourages that pressing against that left shoulder comes forward and that Naturally, that right shoulder goes back, but you can do it this way as well. This is also nice because it's a real chest opening sensation and feeling. Softening the knees, but you can try either, see which, uh, which is better. But we're definitely not leaning onto that leg. We're kind of lifting up away from it. The heart is always lifting up. The heart wants to lift up to the ceiling. 
We keep the legs lively by keeping the knees slightly soft. Keep the feet really open to the ground, not gripping with the toes. Toes, lift them up and place them down to remind them not to grip, not to kind of get like claw-like. Come up on the inhale, maybe bend the knee to soften that. And the exhale, the arms float down, make it soft. Bend into the right knee, come back to the front of the mat. Just get the weight even between the feet and then shift the weight to the right. And then step back with the left foot. Feet even weight, inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Inhale, open the palms wide. Exhale, reaching over to the right and then down with that right hand. Pressing against that lower leg, with the front or the back of the hand, and then the left hand will reach it up, the fingers reach up, and you just let that left shoulder sink back away from the ear, creating space, long neck, neck in line with the spine, this triangle shape, representing harmony, harmonious, the triangle talk. Come up on the inhale, bending into the right knee, and exhale, lower the arms down. Bend into the left knee, and step forward to the front of the mat. And give everything a little shake, let's give the knees a shake, hips a shake, shoulders a little shake, into the nostrils. <sighs> yeah, just release any uh, bits of rubbish, any tension that's there. Let's get open and ready for the next thing. The next thing, it's going to be a reverse triangle. So again, we turn the weight to the left foot and we step back with the right. First of all, right angles and then parallel. So we just swivel that left foot around so it parallels. Again, face, facing the hips easily to the front. Inhale, lift the arms up. So getting ourselves really long in the whole body. Feet are sinking down, chest is lifting up. And then the exhale, the arms come down to shoulder height. Inhale. Is opening between the fingertips. Exhale, turn the whole of the upper body towards the outside of the right leg. And then inhale here from the left hand on the exhale, comes down to the outside of the right leg. So it could be, you know, on the calf there, could even be the upper thigh there, but you can get down to the ankle. See, see where is good for you. And reaching up away from that, you're holding onto the leg, it makes it, it helps. And then you can really reach up away from it with the right finger, turn the head to look up at that right hand if your neck has no problem with that. Otherwise, just looking forwards. One more breath in, and on the out breath, bring the right hand down to the right foot, left hand hops over to the left foot. So we're in a forward bend here, so we'll bring the fingers to the center, just the fingertips there. If you need to bend your knees, that's okay. I'll use the inhale to come up onto fingertips, look forwards, look upwards. And then exhale, flattening the hands, coming into a forward bend, really lifting the tail. And we'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, lifting the gaze, coming up onto the fingertips and exhaling, coming into a deeper forward bend. Maybe going a little bit lower, a little bit deeper this time. And we come up again, one more time, breathing in. And breathing out, coming into that forward bend. And then we come up one more time, actually, because then we're going to come halfway. So bring the hands to the hips or the waist, really lifting the elbows so the chest is open, belly is working with the back, buttocks are working a little bit, soft knees slightly, and using the inhale to come up to standing and exhale. Other side now. Inhale, lifting up, reach. Exhale, bring the arms to shoulder height. Inhale, expand. Exhale, turn the whole upper body. So you can really swiveling hold the body to the left, outside of the left leg. Inhale here. And the right hand on the exhale comes down to the outside of that left leg, wherever you go. And reaching up away from there with the left hand. Yeah, you can really feel this one. This twist really kind of compresses and minimizes your capacity to breathe. So we really use that minimization to Try and expand the space. Really with the deepest breath as you can manage. One more breath in. And I'm bringing the out breath, the left hand down to the left foot and hopping that right foot, right hand against, uh, over to the right foot. <laughs> One 
right and left. So we bring the fingers to the center again, come up on the fingertips, look forwards, inhale, exhale, forward bend. So how does it feel now? Maybe the backs of the thighs have gone a little bit more elastic. I'm gonna come up again, breathing in, look forwards, and breathing out, forward bend. Really deepening each time. Come up again, inhaling, and as you exhale, flattening the hands. And then we're gonna just release this by bending the knees and letting the head hang, letting the arms hang. In a wide leg rag doll. Breathing in through the nostrils, releasing out through the mouth. <sighs> Sigh. <sighs> and so we start to lift from the base of the spine, slowly unravel, keep the knees bent. Leave the head heavy, leave the arms heavy. Leave the head to the last thing. So the shoulders lift up, sit back, head lifts up, opening the throat up, yeah, opening the body up. Good. So let's um, widen, widen the stance a little bit <clears throat> and also point the toes out a little bit. So we're kind of more, I'm just gonna creep over to the middle. <laughs> That's sort of 45 degrees, and then we're going to bend into the knees. So we've got this nice wide shape here. And we just check, have a look. When you bend your knees, make sure that the, uh, the angle is the same as the angle of the toes. So you're matching that. And if it doesn't, you know, either wide, it goes wide as you can with the hips, but then match the foot to that. We don't want to twist the knee. This is the thing, this is why it, it's important to pay attention to that. Press the hands together. We're just going to do a bit of leg work here, making sure also you're not sticking the bottom out. We're keeping the chest above the root there. Inhale, and the head staying above that. So we're just kind of keeping this very steady from top to bottom, from crown to base. Crown to root, maybe that's a better word. Yeah, pressing the hands evenly together, inhaling, pressing up through the feet, exhaling, going a little lower. Yeah, really getting the legs powered up, powering up the legs, exhale, inhale. So let's, let's try our goddess, let's roar. So breathing in, we lift the arms up, exhaling, <sighs> out through the mouth, roaring this rasping in the throat, eyes super wide, okay, and these lovely arms, Fingers spread wide. Cactus arms, these are called. So we've got really a strong pose. Inhale. <sighs> Good. Let's try that again. Gather yourself. Inhale. <sighs> so we're really sending that forwards. Uh, when we breathe in, we look up. So we'll just gather ourselves again. Let's do one more of these. Roaring, getting a bit of fire energy in the heart. Good. And then just bring the feet together. And we just give everything a little shake. Just shaking up the legs, shaking up the arms. Breathing in through the nostrils, out through the mouth. So we're coming to another standing posture. Let's come into Warrior One. We're going to start at the back of the mat. Feet in a little V shape. <clears throat> so we take the weight onto the left foot. And we step forward with the right, big, big step. Big leap. Plant that foot. And then you might want to just swivel the back foot slightly more forwards. And also at the same time, swiveling the hips. So right hip is back, left hip is forward. So I really need to make the legs very strong here. Notice how I've got it very even between the feet. So I'm not leaning forwards. Body is upright. So inhale, lift the arms up above the head making space between the hands, palms are facing each other, and just checking that you're extending through the elbows, but you're keeping the shoulders down, so the chest is lifted. So you can see that difference there. Inhale, and on the exhale, bending into that right knee, pushing into the back heel. So we've got the equal emphasis there. And also, we're extending the arms up, so we've got these different points. Again, we're kind of a triangle shape really here as well. So the the right knee is going forwards, the left heel is going back, and the, the chest is lifting, and the arms are lifting. And you can look up at those hands above the head there. 
the space between the hands there. Imagine me ball you're holding between the hands. Maybe you're holding the world there above your head. Good. Breathe in and out through the nostrils. Keep thinking about the position of the hips. Keep the body long, keep the feet grounded, the weight even between the feet. So much to keep the mind occupied here, really. Using the inhale to lift up, exhale, lower the arms down. And we bend into the right knee and jump back, back of the mat. Give the legs a little shake, just to even them out. And bring them back to that little V shape, the space between the heels. Weight on the right foot, big step forward with the left. You can always shuffle it forward if you didn't get quite a big enough step for you. It should be quite a, quite a strong, big step there for Warrior. And bring the right hip forward and left hip back. Really make that back leg strong. So legs are straight to begin. Inhale, lift the arms up above the head. Keep the chest lifted. And as you exhale, we bend into that left knee. But really thinking about this, you know, this elastic band between the left knee and the right heel, we're kind of stretching it out there. And lifting the arms up, the fingers are reaching up to the ceiling, the shoulders are down, the chest is lifted. We're looking up at that space between the hands, or whatever you imagine between the hands, the energy maybe you're holding between the palms of the hands. And breathe in and out through the nostrils, staying steady, steady and stable here. Strong in the legs, feel your power. Come up on the inhale, lower the arms on the exhale. Bend into the left knee and bring yourself back to the back of the mat. Give the legs another shake, strong on the legs. <clears throat> Give the arms a little shake. And let's just come into a still position again. Tadasana, so just checking your feet. Just place the feet really carefully. Just feel that connection with the ground. Look at the toes, lift the toes, place them down. Then lift the heels and place them down. Okay, really connecting the weight. Now feel the weight in the right. We're gonna get the weight all into the right foot. And then we're gonna shift the weight slowly. See how slowly you can do that. So feeling that shift. So we're really connecting with that point of contact between the soles of the feet and the ground. And the different parts of the feet, you know, the toes, the balls of the feet, the heels, and all the things that are above that as well, the connecting. You can feel the ankles as well, particularly in connection with the feet. So find that point that your feet are balanced. It's a feeling of like, yeah, that's even between the right and the left. But keep noticing and just adjusting. And also notice where all the weight is. You know, is it all back in the heels? Is it all up in the toes? And just find, maybe take the weight forwards and back a little bit. And really feel, okay, yeah, that's the, that's the spreading out of the feet. Now I can feel the weight evenly across both soles of the surfaces of the feet. Just feel that sense of energy. Imagine that little layer of energy between your mat and the soles of the feet. Very kind of subtle. And we just place the hands together just to get this sense of connection. So you've got that sense of the connection between the soles of the feet and the ground. And then we bring the connection between the palms of the hands. Already livened up the palms of the hands. Pressing them lightly together and lifting the chest towards those hands. Soften the knees. Just have that slight pointing of the tailbone down. Gentle kind of engagement here in the abdominals. You feel the thighs, these quads are active, but not rigid. And then the shoulders drop down away, the chest lifts, the back of the neck is long, feel that long back of the neck. You just feel that, you can kind of feel like, as you lift the back of the neck, you can feel that impacting on the back as well. So this crown, the silver thread going up into the universe, the roots going down from the soles of the feet, pressing together, the hands connecting these opposing polarities. Close the eyes briefly. 
Anjali Tadasana. And breathing in and out through the nostrils, just finding that moment of poise, of stillness, but noticing all those tiny movements within this stillness. We just slow things down a little bit. Feeling the breath coming in and out through the nostrils with ease. And just imagine yourself as if you were a mountain, you know. Steady, stable. Very still and poised, but full of power. Rooted. Okay, and then relax. <clears throat> we'll come into a balance now. So it feels like a nice moment to do that. And we're going to come into heron balance. So let's start by bringing the weight into the left foot. You can have the right foot still on the ground, but all the weight's in there. You can feel that. And the fingertips are together here just to kind of bring that connection. And then the inhale, the arms come up. You lift the right knee, and then the arms come down on the exhale, lowering that right knee. And we shift the weight from the left to the right, and then we inhale. See if you can do this in a really mindful way. Steady. Steady pace, shift the weight. Really noticing that shift of weight. And also think about lifting. As you extend up, lift the knee high. And breathing out, see if you can control that movement as it comes down. Okay, and shift the weight again, breathing in. Lift the knee high. As that knee also, as in this, lift the knee high, pressing into the opposite foot. So you get that dynamic, which helps the balance. And this time, you can keep going with this, but if you want to do a little slight variation, I'll cause you to stand and balance a little bit longer. As you exhale, you push the foot out and bring the arms down. The arms are still moving exactly the same. Then we lift the knee again as we lift the arms up and still slowly on the way down. So it's just having that extra move in, shifting the weight, inhaling, touching the hands at the top, exhaling, push the heels out, or the heel rather, <laughs> it can be hard with both the heels. Inhaling. And exhaling. We can aspire to that. And shifting. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. Let's just do one more or two more if you're going with the, um, the one without the extension. Maybe you can fit an extra couple in. But keeping that movement continual there. Good. And then just give the legs a little shake, give the arms a little shake, loosen it all up. In fact, let's just loosen it even more. Take the feet a bit wide <coughs> for the twists. So knees are bent, and then we're just turning on our center. Strong, stable center. Bringing our attention to our center, just letting everything else just move freely around that center but bringing our attention, our awareness to our center. How does this center feel? Does it feel stable? Are we aligning with it? Coming into that center. Breathe. Good. And then slowly again, we'll come to a stillness. Give the back a little rub. Yes. Yeah, why not? Good. So let's uh, do our little Gratitude moment. So again, checking the feet, lift the toes, place them down. Lift the heels, place them down. Connect with that earth element. Good. Now we're going to keep that stability, that connection with the earth. And we're going to appreciate this moment. Breathing in, breathing out, pointing to the ground, looking at the ground. And then letting the gaze and the hands come up gradually to the top and let them meet at the top. And then we're going to draw this center line. Again, coming back to the center. So we go out and expand into the universe as we extend and open. And then we come back together. And we 
we come back to our centre. So enjoying this beautiful symbolic gesture here with the movement of the hands and the breath, coordinated and harmonious in this gesture. Breathing out, keeping the breath in and out through the nostrils and keeping your attention focused. And then just allow your attention to expand a little from this centre by appreciating, by appreciating this moment. And appreciation and gratitude, you know, can extend beyond the things that are easy for us to appreciate and be glad about. We can also appreciate our journey, appreciate the challenges and then what it brings the learning, the real, realization of our own power and resilience when we are challenged, when things are difficult, not so easy to embrace. So appreciating all of it, let's just see, do the easy stuff first <laughs> and then just see if you can pick out one thing that you can appreciate that isn't so easy. And then bring that all together one big beautiful breath in and out and let the hands rest this last time at the heart center just taking a moment there close the eyes and just bringing yourself into the center line and then the center of that center line which is the heart and just see how it feels today does it feel you know glowing and warm does it feel like a stone does it feel fluttery it feels spiky. How does your heart feel today? I'm just appreciating that quality, all those qualities of this moment and your acknowledgement of your interior. And then drop the hands down, open the eyes. Let's come down to the ground. So let's do, let's actually come into a, a, a chair, first of all. Just so we get a trial run. Good. And then we'll appreciate coming down to the ground even more. So breathing in, talking about appreciation and challenge, reaching up. And as you breathe out, you're sitting back. Really imagine that seat behind you. Arms are going forward. The neck is in line with the spine. So you're looking down at your toes, maybe. You can see the ground. So really engaging the abdominals, making yourself long here in the body. Long. So the bottom is going back. The hands are going up. So you're getting this length here. And use the inhale to come back up. Exhale, lower the arms down. Good. And then we're going to come down to the ground. So you can walk to the front of the mat if you're not there already. Just checking your feet again, lift the toes, place them down. Again, just constantly checking, checking in with the ground, with your feet, with your physicality, with your body, with this embodiment. Inhale, lift the arms forwards, soften the shoulders and exhaling, coming down. Then just keep the inhale and exhale going, just to kind of support you on your journey. Slow journey down to the earth. Keep breathing in and out through the nostrils. Yeah, just feeling the strength and power in your legs and then catching yourself, your hands. Let's just stretch the legs out in front, bouncing the knees up and down. And then we're gonna bend the knees. Hug the knees, hold the knees, keep the face to the knees, rounding the back, the back of the neck is relaxing, breathing into the nostrils, out to the mouth. Let it go. Good. And let's do a little cosmic egg. So come on. We'll just round or just smooth and touch these. Circling the knees here, just because it feels good. And we take the hands around the front or just the top of the um, front of the knees, <coughs> front of all the shins. Lift the chest, drop the shoulders back and down. So we're really getting this feeling of lift the shoulders and roll them back and lift the chest. And then coming onto the tiptoes there, still holding the knees close and then taking the toes off the ground if you can. Still really keeping that straight strength in the back. Also including the neck. So not looking up, keeping that chin slightly tucked in. Back of the neck more. And um, release. Feet come down to the ground. 
And let's let the knees come out to the side, soles of the feet together. Maybe we'll just like have a little rock and roll side to side, see how that feels. Maybe there's some funny sounds. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> there's a lot of funny sounds the body makes. It's like a whole little orchestra going on all the time. And we'll just give ourselves a little foot massage to get the thumbs into the center of the foot. And just give it a few little circles. Don't need to be an expert at massage to just squeeze and release. Rub the center of the foot there. Good. And now we're going to either take hold of the ankles or the toes, whatever feels more accessible to you. And imagine you're sitting up against a wall. So we lift the chest, we drop the shoulders back, kind of really trying to press the whole of the back against this imaginary wall. Lifting the back of the neck also, so it's lovely long spine we're getting here. And holding onto the ankles or the feet really gives us something to hold up against so that we can kind of work against, work against that if you like, because it just helps to get this length in the spine this engagement, and then the knees, then the knees are going to come down slowly towards the ground. Maybe you feel that with your breath, maybe each out breath, you can imagine those heavy weights on the insides of the knees, helping your hips to open. Good. And you're also still sitting very tall. Good, and then release. And we're going to come into the other shape now. So now we've been very upright, now we'll do the opposite. We're just gonna let the back curl and curve. So just let the shoulders drop in, let the head fall. And we're just going to take the thumbs again to the center of the foot and fingers tucked around, holding the um, tops of the foot. But the head's coming down, so we're just curving our back. You might even press the elbows onto the inner thighs there. And we're just bringing the head down. Breath by breath, breathing in through the nostrils and out through the nostrils. Maybe we're just letting that whole back curve. The chin is moving towards the chest or on the chest. And the head is coming down towards the feet. Long, slow inhale, long, slow exhale. And then coming up on an inhale, lifting yourself up slowly, come back up, lift the knees up, hug the knees again. Breathing in, through the nostrils, out through the mouth. <coughs> take them again, our hands around the, uh, actually put the hands behind the knees. So we're just gonna take them just behind the knees there, holding. Because we're gonna do a little, little boat. I mean, it could be a dinghy that you do, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so we, first of all, we're gonna just get the back up right again. So this is already using your abdominals. If before the feet even come off the ground, notice how I'm just lift the shoulders and send them back and the chest is lifted. You feel that your abdominals working already. And then we're just gonna lift the legs off the ground. So we try and sit forwards onto our sit bones. So it's a little bit just the next level up from cosmic egg. <clears throat> all the time you know we're really trying not to let this happen this collapse we're really holding the abdominals and lifting the chest keeping the back nice and straight and then we release oh, the release making the effort and then making the release we'll do this a couple more times you can stay with this with this one or if you want to so first of all getting that upright spine lifting the legs off the ground holding on to the legs or Letting go of the legs. Breathe deeply, dig deep with your breath and then release. Oh yeah, just hugging the knees, releasing the abdominals. And we'll do one more. And you can choose, so you can go with this original, you can go without the hands, or you can go extended legs, either supported or unsupported. So you can go whichever one you want to now. You know, choose. Really try and breathe deeply. And then release again. Hug the knees. Face to the knees. Breathe into the nostrils. Out through the mouth. 
slide the legs away a little bit. Oh yeah, maybe give the legs a bit of a rub as well. Yeah. <clears throat> Bounce the knees up and down, just releasing those legs. And at the bottom of the mat. So we're going to extend the fingers towards the, uh, the feet. Keep extending as you lower down. So still working a last little bit with the abdominals. It's not going to feel as difficult after doing a boat. And breathing in and out through the nostrils the whole time. If you've had enough, you know, you just lie down. It's always okay. And release. You can judge for yourself, you know, what's okay for you today. Okay, give yourself a full extension just to release those abdominals. Taking the arms above the head, pointing the toes, breathing in and out through the nostrils. Just enjoying that release you get from the expansion. And just bring the hands back and bring your knees up and hug the knees. And rock, first of all, rocking. Maybe make that a really more pronounced rocking movement. Good. And now we're going to draw a circle. Move that back, breathing in and breathing out. Yeah, drawing a circle with the knees, keep the knees together. Let me go the other way. Breathing in and breathing out. The inhale, we make space for the air. The exhale, we draw the knees in. Makes complete sense. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. And we'll hug the knees again. Hands around the front of the knees. So this way, this time again, breathing and moving, working with the spine, breathing in, take the knees away. Breathing out, draw the knees in, lift the head towards the knees. You can even see that the, I'm getting very curved. I'm even lifting my tailbone off the ground. Inhaling, laying the back down, exhaling, making yourself very small, lifting the head, the nose is coming towards the knees. So we're flattening and lengthening the spine as we come down, and then we're curling and curving the spine as we breathe out. Inhale, expansion, exhale, contraction. Good. And if you want to, just continue with that. Or if you want to, you can take the arms up above the head and take the knees away as far as you feel comfortable. So it could be that they just come away a little bit and then you come back in again, exhaling, coming back into this tiny little ball. Or it could be that your legs go a bit further away, but you really need to try and keep contact with the lower back and the ground so that you're really taking care of your back, and which means you use your abdominals quite a lot. Again, lots of abdominals, the center, the center. It's another center. The uh, belly is another center, really. It's another energetic center. Breathing out. You can even extend your legs right out if you want to. And exhaling, expansion and contraction. It's up to you how, what you feel is appropriate for you today. One more expansion, and then we contract. And then we bring the feet to the ground. Let's give ourselves another, not full, we're not going to have it for a full stretch. We're just going to let come ourselves into um, Shavasana for a second, just to release. Close your eyes, in through the nostrils, power from the mouth, and just to recover a little bit. And then we bend the knees and bring them close. We'll bring the feet close to the buttocks, just creep them in, making sure the feet are hip width apart. So they just be just behind the buttocks, not wider. And also the space between the feet, but hip width apart. So there's be space between your knees, you can see in front of you. Tuck the chin tightly into the chest. 
dropping the hands down. So you're just dropping those fingers down, stretching down to the bottom of the mat. So we get lots of exposure here between the shoulders and the neck. Shoulders and the ears, actually. So let's see if we can come into this moving bridge, breathing in, lifting the hips, exhaling, rolling down. Yeah. Breathing in, lifting the hips high and breathing out, rolling down the spine to the base of the spine reaches the ground. And then you kind of rock it back up, peeling the back off the ground and then rolling it back down. Keep that chin tucked in, really try and keep the back of the neck very exposed to the ground. If you want a variation, you can lift the arms up on the inhale and then exhaling, coming down. This is such a great little practice, you know, moving the spine in this way, in a very mindful way, and in combination with the breath, breathing and moving. It really makes the practice a lot easier, it keeps, it keeps your mind occupied, and it also means that you're really breathing more deeply, more mindfully, connecting with your breath, Feeling the power of the breath and getting the support of the breath, of course. You know, and in our practice, we, we practice this so that it starts to, you know, even though we don't think about it, it just starts to come into our lives. We start to notice our the access we have to a transformative breath in a difficult moment. If you haven't done the practice, it's very difficult to, to find that. Now we've really practiced breathing deeply, different breathing practices, calming breath, grounding breath, you know, energizing breath, clearing, whatever you're practicing, you have that, you have that in your toolbox to use. And then eventually it will start to just, you know, become much more natural and available. So let's just do one more of these, breathing in. And breathing out. And to counterpose, hug the knees. Have a little rock and roll here. And then we're going to come into a lying twist. So knees up on the chest for this one. Take the arms out to the side, palms flat down. Inhale through the nostrils, of course, and exhaling, let the knees fall. So we're keeping them in, but then we just let them fall slowly to the left and the head goes over to the right. Let the legs rest on the left side. We take a breath here, maybe. Or two, maybe we'll take a few breaths and take as long as you want here, really. Just uh, when you feel that you're giving your back a little bit of release, so you can close your eyes even, but making sure that your head is going one way Knees are going the other way. So we create this twist in the spine. And then close the eyes, just feel the inner experience of the twist. And then use the inhale to lift the knees to center, lift the head to center. And then on the exhale, the knees fall to the right and the head goes over to the left. Slowly let the knees fall. So using a bit of abdominal control and then let them go. And breathe, very mindful breathing. Breathing through the belly expanding as you breathe in. As you breathe out through the nostrils, you feel it contracting. Try and lengthen the breath. You can use the Ajaya breath or some people call it the ocean breath, where you make a slight constriction on the throat so that you it naturally lengthens the breath. We can also just make sure that you breathe out a bit longer than you normally would. And then it's just simply a bite to deeper. Inhale. Use the next inhale to lift the knees to center. And have another little bit of a rock and roll. Okay, place the soles of the feet on the ground. Still with this lying twist, because it's so good. We put the feet, well actually we'll have the feet together. We kind of very often do this with the feet wide. We'll have the feet together, but they're away, the feet are away from the buttocks. 
Still the arms out to the sides. Breathe in. As you breathe out, the knees go down to the left, the head goes over to the right. So it becomes like one big foot, if you like. The foot, the sides of the feet come together. On the inhale, the knees come to center and the head goes to the left and the knees go to the right. So I stop, we're just moving a bit more in time with the breath now. And just notice how it feels different to the other twist. You know, when we had the knees up onto the chest, what parts of the back were being affected there and how it feels now. So they all have a slightly different implication. And then again, if you have the feet wide, it's a different sensation. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. Let's do one more each side. Really having lots of release on our spines today. And coming to center and just sliding the legs away. Put some space between the feet, keep the arms away from the body. Again, take a moment in Shavasana, close the eyes. And breath is coming in and out through the nostrils. Feeling your breath and feeling the ground beneath your body. And just take the hands to the belly area. I'm going to focus a little bit on the belly, abdominal breath. If you find that you're not comfortable lying flat on your back, then just lift the knees and put the feet on the ground. And just let the knees fall together. So you can choose what position feels better for you. So with the eyes closed, so you can really focus on your breath and feel your breath. You might even want to, you know, have the fingers pointing towards each other so you can feel the space and even see the space opening up between the fingers as you breathe in and how they come together on the exhale. And you flatten that belly. So inhaling, try and fill yourself up like a balloon and exhaling. Using the nostrils to breathe in and out of. So the inhale coming through the nostrils. Feel the hands getting pushed away and then the exhale coming through the nostrils. Squeezing the breath out. You can almost feel, you know, the, the, the belly muscles are helping you. Squeeze that breath out. And just following that breath. Allowing the breath to expand. Keep your eyes closed. If you find your mind is distracted, um, a little tip is you can count. So you can count your breath in. And then count and see if you can make that out breath a little bit longer. So if your breath in is for four. And maybe you gradually make the out breath up to five. And keep the in breath as a four. Maybe the out breath goes to six. And again, you breathe in for four. Maybe the out breath can get to seven. But take it gradually, don't force the breath. Just feel that you're keeping a steady stream of breath coming in and out. And just gradually lengthening. Maybe your out breath becomes double the length of the in breath.
and we'll let go of any breathing practices and just let our breath settle into an easy soft breath coming in and out through the nostrils no effort nothing to do we just take a couple of minutes lying in relaxation you might want to straighten your legs out you might even want to put something over yourself even it's worth it just for a couple of minutes or you might want to put socks on a blanket over you and really give yourself to this relaxation even if it's short give it give yourself fully and it can really make a difference so important after practice to let this be absorbed in the learning and realizing the efforts of your practice So we come to the end of the relaxation now. Give yourself time to come back. Maybe breathe a little deeper. Maybe move your arms and legs. Start to wake your body up. Maybe hug your knees or give yourself a stretch. Roll onto your side. Do whatever feels good. Just following. Following your body. And when you're ready, you can start moving, bringing yourself up to seated slowly. Opening your eyes, returning to the day, seeing the light of the day, also connecting with your body again, coming back to life, revivifying. Yeah, returning to the body, returning to the world, coming back from the practice, hopefully revived, revivified, refreshed. And we rub the palms together to finish. Create some heat and energy between the palms of the hands. Breathe fire into that. And bring that heat and energy to the heart center. Close the eyes. And bring to mind your sankalpa. Your intention, your prayer, whatever words you want to call it. And say your phrase or sentence to yourself a few times here. Really make it meaningful, something you want to generate, encourage, grow in yourself. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy everything the day has to bring.